This is only eating foods I hate for the entire day. So I'm not a picky person when it comes to food, but there's just certain foods that I just, I just don't like. This is gonna be a pretty difficult day because good food makes me happy and bad food makes me sad, so... We'll see we're smiling at the end of this challenge. Let's do it! This is my mom. It can't hate you. Hi! She's making my first meal of the day. She's pretty excited I'm eating these healthy foods, but I'm not that excited. We got some carrot, pineapple, apple. Kaden on Saturday. I'm using a camera today and I keep looking at my face here, but I'm supposed to be looking at here. I'll first explain why I don't like it. This is because it's too pulpy and it's too healthy. It's like not even a smoothie, but it's really good for your gut health apparently. The reason why I hate this is because look at it. It's not even juice. And I gotta chew on it. I'm also having a banana. I haven't had a banana in so many years. I don't even know how many years I've... I've I hate bananas. Okay. Let's dig in... Banana. Juice. And don't worry, I'm not going to waste all these food. My mom's going to eat them. <laughs> Lady finger banana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pineapple makes it okay taste wise I just can't do this texture so the reason why I'm doing this challenge is number one I don't want to be really picky like I'm not a picky eater overall but I still don't want to be picky and also, secondly, I want to see if my taste buds changed over time. I might like some of these foods. Who knows? You know, maybe I've been eating the banana and I'm realizing maybe it's not the flavor that I hated. I think it was just more of a texture thing for this one too. Because I also don't mind the flavor of this. I'm doing pretty well though. Last bite. I did it! See? I did it. Now for a little snack. We got sweet potato and salad. Yeah. Salad, sweet potato. There was something else as well. Oh, and orange juice with pulp. Orange juice with pulp. Sweet potato. Now I'm starting to realize all of these foods are just healthy foods. Maybe I don't like healthy foods. 
And don't get me wrong, I do like a good salad, but the type of salad that I never go, ooh, that's what I'm craving, is just a leaf salad, you know? Got some tomatoes. Like, if, there's, was, if there was a steak on top of that, or that came with some other protein, or cheese, I would be like, yum! But if it's just a leaf salad, I don't go, oh my gosh, it's a leaf salad. Like, you eat it because of the protein on top of it, right? Or like, really yummy sauce. I don't know. I got my veggies. Salt. And then pepper. I didn't want to make it too boring, so we're gonna do a bit of balsamic vinegar. And olive oil. Okay. Okay. And my least favorite, orange juice with pulp. Like, I love orange juice, but I just can't do pulp. It feels weird to have little bits of orange in my liquid. But I think it's actually healthier to have, a, have that fiber in your juice, right? Anyways. Also, balsamic vinegar kind of smells like feet. <laughs> but in a good way. Let's have our sweet potato. Mmm. I don't think I can peel it. I should change the name to this video, Ginny eating very healthy for an entire day. <laughs> huh. Wait. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, but did you know sweet potato goes really well with kimchi? Anything goes really well with kimchi. Kimchi? Sweet potato. Sweet potato and kimchi. Mmm. That's better. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. A little bit of kimchi isn't cheating. Remember, we made the rule last time. Pickles and kimchi is okay. I like vegetables, but I don't get the I don't get the needs to want to eat just vegetables. Look how pulpy. Cheers. Get stuck in my throat. Mm -mm. Salad and sweet potato, I can I can get over. Pulp, still a no for me. Sweet potato and kimchi though, really good. For dinner, we're making kaichi jorim. I think in English it's called beltfish or something. It's really long. My mom's in charge of making the kaichi jorim. I'm not a fan of it, but I would eat it if it's there. But it's it's one of those foods I would never go. I am craving it. I need to have this. It's just like, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. Hi, King. Let's see if I end up liking this. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. I'm supposed to not like it though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my brother. You're going on my YouTube. No. <laughs> this is the part I'm actually dreading though. It's kongbap. It, it's black beans with, with rice. And I used to hate this as a child and I think I still hate it. Brother, mum. I love raw fish, but I'm not much of a boiled fish girly. But this looks really good. Ooh. Look at that sauce. Okay, so I got my kaichi jorim, and then I got my black bean rice. 
The reason why I'm eating foods that I kind of dislike is because I couldn't find anything that I actually hated except for bananas and juice with pulp. Let's try this. Mm. Let's try the fish. Yummy. Mm. I remembered why I didn't like this so much. The fish has a lot of thin bones, so it's kind of difficult to eat. Mm. But the flavor is really good. Mm, not bad. Another reason also is that like and also somehow cooked fish is fishier than raw fish to me. We got our radish. Mm. I'll eat the rice. You know, as a child, I used to pick out the black beans and just have it in one bite hole and just have plain rice. <laughs> this is what I used to do. There we go. One bite. I'm thankful and grateful for food. And that my stomach is full every day. Amen, sister. I think I'm getting good at separating the meat and the and the bones. Never mind. Let me know what other foods I should eat. But let me know what other foods I should eat for the entire day next. Stay blessed. Stay thankful. Stay amazing. <laughs>